Vermont House of Representatives wants to know if violence in video games leads to violence in real life. It passed a resolution calling on Governor Phil Scott's office to find out. Don't mind taking a look at that. Anything we can do to, to treat each other better and civility and so forth. The House resolution calls for money to look into whether or not there's a connection between these violent video games and real life gun violence. It also calls for a possible age restriction to buy or rent these games. I do think that there's a substantial body of scientific evidence that does suggest that violent media is playing a role in real world violence. Dr. David Rattu is the director of the Pediatric Psychiatry Clinic at the University of Vermont Medical Center. There's a lot of murkiness here and there's a lot of it depends and I would want policy to be able to reflect that and not just be some kind of knee-jerk reaction, but I'm glad they're looking at this. But some gamers, like Spencer Williamson, say the state shouldn't be regulating video games. So it is our responsibility as parents to see what they're playing. Williamson, a mother of one with another on the way, hopes to pass on her passion for gaming to her kids. I will let them play. Uh, my husband and I have talked about that. It is part of our goal because um, we are brought up with it. All in moderation is a big thing though. But even with limits, Dr. Rattu says there are warning signs that parents should look out for. So if you see that a child is becoming more and more irritable and aggressive and is showing more of an obsession or fascination with violence, then I think absolutely a parent should be careful about that and look to the role that video games may be in terms of fueling that fire. However, that doesn't mean that the majority of people who sometimes play violent video games are going to turn into serial killers because there's just no evidence of that. In Burlington, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.